speaking to this first lesson where I play it through Georgia Medley. It looks very complicated, but as you break it down into individual sections, it actually is a fairly simple piece. Referring to the previous lessons that I've given, I've shown the techniques which are used. One technique in it is a snap, in which the third finger is snapped off the fret, second fret, to make a note. And as we go through the piece, you'll see that's used. The chord shapes, you remember I use numbering systems. The chord 3, 1, 2 at the first position is the third finger at the second fret, the first finger on the second string at the first fret, and the second finger at the second fret on the third string. 3, 1, 2 chord. There's also a 1, 2, 3 chord at the second position, which is the first finger on the first string at the second, the second finger on the second string at the third, and the third finger at the third string on the fourth. But as we work through the piece, you'll see how these come into it. We also have twiddlies and twiddly dees for those who are paying attention. Twiddly and twiddly dee. First of all, before we try to play together, let's make sure that our instruments are in tune. Mine is tuned to concert pitch, and the bass string, the fourth string, is C. The third string is G. The second string is B. The first string or top string is D. And the short string or the octave string is G. So now we can work through from the downloaded sheet, which as you'll see, the top line is in standard notation and underneath is the tablature. And again, in previous lessons, we've shown that the numbers marked on the notation score relate to the fingers which the note is played with. On the tablature score, the numbers relate to the fret position on the particular string. Also, on the tablature, the lines on the score relate to the strings on the instrument, the bottom one being the fifth string or the octave string, working up to the first string, which is the top. And you can see that the little lines that sit down there tell you at what fret you're going to put your finger on that particular string. So it actually is quite a simple system to just do a double check to make sure you're in the right place by checking the tablature against the notation. Before we start to play along, let's have a look at the top two lines of the score. This is a, a notation line and it's associated tablature. And across there are five bars or five measures. You'll see that in the first bar there are three open strings as you can see both indicated in the tablature and notation. That is a twiddly. Onto the second bar, played with the thumb, there is a note which has got a flag on it. When you see a flag on the top line at that position that indicates that it is the octave string being played. Now, the third finger jumps, looking at the tablature, to the ninth fret on the, third, on the first string. And then the thumb plays the open octave. And now the first finger is on the seventh fret on the first. And then the thumb again on the octave. And the third finger is put down at the ninth. And now the thumb again on the octave. Move on to the next bar. The first finger is at the seventh fret on the first. And now we've got the octave string open, jump down with the third finger to the second fret on the first string and play it with your second finger, snap it off, and now the second string is paid open with the first finger, back on with the third to snap off. In the fourth bar we have the first finger at the first fret on the second string and the second finger at the second fret on the third string. Now the fourth finger comes down, if you notice there's a three in the circle, that shows you it's on the third string. And if you look at the tablature, you'll notice it's using the, at the fourth fret position, with the thumb, and again with the thumb. Now the open third string. Now we're going to 
pinch the top two strings using the second and first fingers and the thumb. And now we've got a twiddly. Now that I've run through the top line of the score, showing how the fingers are placed and at which particular fret, you can now look at the second and the third lines of the score and we can work together and run through the whole piece. Now that we've run through the first line of the piece, let's run through the whole section. In the first bar there are three open strings played thumb index middle or twiddle. The thumb comes across in the second bar for the octave. Now the third finger jumps to the ninth position and is picked with the second finger and then the octave. Now the first finger is at the seventh, and then the octave, and the third finger down again, and then the octave. Now we're to the third bar, pick the first finger on the first string at the seventh, then the octave. Now you jump down with your third finger to the second position and pick and then snap off. And now the second string open with the first finger, third finger back down again and snap. Now the fourth finger on the third string and the second finger. Now the open string. Now the pinch and the twiddly on the open strings. Now we move on to the next line of the music, starting at bar six, with the octave with the thumb, then the third finger at the ninth position, then the octave, then the first finger, then the octave. Now we're coming down to a two, one, zero chord at the first position, and with the first and second fingers, pick the chord, and now three open strings, pinch, and a twiddle E D. Twiddle E. That was the open second string, and then the first finger down to be picked with the thumb. Now into the third bar of this section, which is the open top string with the second finger, and now the octave. Now bring your third finger down for the snap, pick with the second finger. Now the open second string, thumb on the th open third, and then the open second. Now we're going to put a 3-1-2 chord on at this position. You're not going to use all, all the fingers, but it's, it's easier, you'll see. Pick the third finger on the first string, and now play the third string, the second finger with your thumb. Lift off the first finger and pick the open second string. Now pick with the thumb, the second finger, and then the second finger, the open first string. Then in the last bar, octave, third finger comes to the ninth again, and then the octave. First finger at the seventh, and then the octave, and back down to that two one naught chord at the first, pick the two. Now onto the last line, it's three open notes again, which you pinch. Now it's a twiddly D. And now what we're going to do now is put a one, two, three chord on at the second position. And it's thumb, index, second, now the octave. Come down with the third finger for the snap. Now the first and the second fingers on the second and third things, strings respectively. Open second, open third. Open third again, open second, snap. Now the second finger comes down at the second fret on the second string. And they open first. Now the music jumps back to bar six to repeat that section. 
This is indicated by the two dots at the ends of bar 13, which tell you to jump back to the previous two dots. We're at the start of bar 6. So we'll jump back. Now it jumps to bar 14, which is indicated with the number 2, which is the second time around bar. So that bar is an open third string, as you can see in the tablature, hit with the thumb. Then you jump to the first string and the second fret with the second finger. So we'll play that second section right through again.